Well, we all know the purpose of 911. We probably have the info on 411. The region wants you to know about 311, but now there is a new number in town. It is 211, and this Sunday is 211 Day. Here to give us the 411 on 211 is Kristen Jacob <laughs> from the United Way. Halton and Hamilton, thank you for doing this. That was far too many numbers thrown at people already, Kristen. <laughs> I know. Thank you so much for having me here today. I know it can get very confusing, right? <laughs> so let's just define it right yeah. out of the gate here. Yeah. 211, what is it? Yeah. So 211 is Canada's primary source of information for government and community based social services. So when folks in the community, if they dial, text, chat, or go on the web and they put in 211, that's going to connect them to basically a really compassionate navigator who's going to talk to them about what their issue or their concern might be for calling in and find the right social services that are available for them. And the great thing with the service is it's available in 150 different languages as well. That's great. Okay, so can you give me a bit of an example? Because I know, you know, we've mm -hmm. heard... Um, a lot of police forces saying, hey, be careful when you call 911, only call it for particular opportunities. So let's make sure people are using it properly. Can you give me a situation that you would call 211 for? Absolutely. So we know that last year over 7,000 residents in Halton and Hamilton did use the service. And of those calls, what we found was that there was, you know, a bit of a trend on what we were seeing with a lot of the calls that were coming in. So the, you know, the kind of top three, you know, reasons why people were calling in, you know, just as some examples to give you. One of the reasons is around housing. And we know that housing and housing affordability and supports around housing are, you know, a really important issue in Halton and Hamilton right now. So what we found was that people were calling in for um, emergency services around having supports for housing when there was housing insecurity, um, housing services for potentially domestic or intimate partner violence was another example that we saw coming in uh, to 211 around that area. And then also around uh, homeless drop-in centers that would be available in the region for folks. So there was those kind of examples. We also know that there's a lot of people and folks who call in and use the services for connecting for health reasons. And some great examples of health reasons would be around things like diagnostic services. Um, so, for example, if you have a, a loved one or a friend who might be experiencing Alzheimer's or dementia and you just don't know where to go or who to turn to, we, we, we did get a lot of uh, calls coming in around the health sector. And of course, you know, mental, you know, mental health and, and concerns around mental health were another issue. And the one thing we would like to point out, though, is if there are any concerns around emergency services or thoughts around suicide, the correct number to call for that one is 988, which is a new number that was released this year. So if it's anything that's non-emergency related, you can dial 211, and as I said, you know, you're going to get connected to that person who's going to talk it through with you, help you understand what those needs are, and then connect you to the right agencies, the right community programs, and get you the information that you need. Because let's face it, it's difficult to know sometimes where to go and who to turn to. Yeah, and, you know, to keep with the fact that people rarely use their phone as a phone anymore, you did mention yeah. there is also the web and the tech service, and these are these are all real people on the other end. This isn't AI or automation, correct? No bots. It's all humans. It's, uh, it's live human beings 24-7, you know, manning this service. And, yeah, it's available by, by dialing 211, by texting 211. If you go to 211ontario.ca, there's a chat functionality there and then there's tons of information that's on that website that really helps navigate the user through the through the process now this sunday is february the 11th so the mm -hmm. second month 11 day yeah. 211 very clever uh yeah. what do you hope people get out of this day yeah, so 211 Day is really, it's a day of national public awareness for us. And we do this in partnership with our United Way on Trade Canada locations as well. And what the idea is, is we just want to get the information out there and let people know that this service exists, that it's available to them. And it's a great way for you to be connected when you just don't know where to go or who to turn to. 
That is great. All right. Well, thank you for doing this today. Appreciate of it. Course. We look forward to Sunday, 211. Uh, and hopefully people now have a better understanding of what the 211 service is. Thanks so much. Fantastic. Thank you so much for helping us share this information.